I didn't think that organized religion was uh, good, was an important thing. I didn't think it was necessary, and I had no interest whatsoever. I'd had some bad experiences with people saying, oh, you're going to hell, and I was very, very turned off. Up until that point, if someone had asked me, how do I become a Christian, I wouldn't have known what to tell them. Um, it would have been, I don't know, just try going to church, see if something clicks. When I was a senior in high school, I went to visit my college and the University of Virginia, and then the next day, um, I went to visit James Madison University, where my best friend was attending. When I was there, I saw a lot of the everystudent.com posters in dorm room windows and on dorm room doors. And my friend Adam actually had an everystudent.com t-shirt that he would wear around. And so I had seen it many times. It was in a habit of, at the time, of staying up late at night, talking to friends on instant messenger, and checking email. And so I just decided, why not? I might as well go to this site. And I would just read one article after another. And I have no clue how long I must have spent the first time I was on the site. An hour or more? I don't know. I first chose the ones that were seemed relevant to me in my life. And issues that I had been struggling with in my life, it really spoke to me as, I guess, a seeker, someone who was searching. I felt like it was really directed right at where I was, and um, it answered very real issues, things that had been troubling me about how can there be only one truth, and well, how does this impact my life? Is there hope for a lasting marriage? Um, I also went to some of the articles that were more intellectual, in a sense, uh, discussing the differences between other world religions and why the God of the Bible. But finally, I came across um, the, the prayer to invite uh, Jesus into your heart, and I had never uh, heard of that. I didn't know anything about that. I was blown away that I could actually have a relationship with God. And so um, I remember sitting there in my desk chair at home, um, just praying and just crying. I was so happy. It was just something I'd never thought about that um, God could be living within me. I don't know if I would have explored matters as deeply and issues as deeply if I hadn't had that safe place to go where I didn't uh, feel silly asking questions. and seeking out answers. It guided me to um, Christ and presented it in such a real way. I continued to visit everystudent.com and I dialogued with a few people uh, through the website. I was so excited to um, get the responses. I was checking my email several times a day because I wanted to know what they had to say. I wanted these questions answered. The people who responded were so kind and just so joyful and they told me they would be praying for me and I just I was so amazed that they just loved on me so much through these emails and encouraged me so much after I went to the site and I became a Christian I was I wanted to share everystudent.com with other people and I wanted um, my friends to ask about it so I actually borrowed Adam's t-shirt that they had made at JMU and so I started wearing it around my high school and people would stop and ask me about it. Every student that come led me to the most important decision I've ever made and the best thing that's ever happened to me in my whole life. I didn't think that anything on the web could actually change my life but it did and now I realize that that was just God directing me to what would be the best way to reach me and that was God using this tool that I was on every single day to reach me. Every student does need to know that the website is out there and that they can have their questions answered in a non-confrontational way that they can be reached by the gospel 24 hours, 7 days a week from their dorm room. It's just part of nature, our nature now to surf onto a website 
and if they know that it's out there, people will go just out of curiosity and they can make a life-changing decision right there in front of their computer.